Space, once the exclusive domain of superpowers with super spending powers. But these shots weren't taken from the International Space Station or a satellite in orbit. They came from this device, built on a tight budget by an amateur photographer from northern England. Absolutely gobsmacked. The first time I saw the pictures, I just couldn't believe it. Pictures captured on a $75 camera, which rides aloft in a box with other cheaply available components. We've got, in here we've got the uh, tracking device, quite a simple uh, circuit board. It's got a GPS sat-nav on it. A weather balloon carries the whole thing to a height of 35 kilometres before it returns to Earth. Yeah, it could be. To retrieve his photos, Robert tracks the flight following transmissions of binary code, which he processes in mission control, also known as the room upstairs. After 12 of the flights, the self-taught space explorer got a call from NASA. They had some interest as how do you take these pictures. If, if we had to take these sort of pictures, it would cost lots of money. I think once they understood how we done it, um, it's not technically space, but the space starts... Uh, 100 kilometres above the Earth's surface, but 35 kilometres is, is a good start. And one that proves even if space is the final frontier, a little know-how can make it accessible to anyone. Andrew Potter, Al Jazeera.